Hey, it's Central Valley Business. I'm your host, Steve Walling. My guests for this segment is Gina. Welcome. Thank you. Mike, welcome. Thank you. Now, what you can't see, but you'll see shortly. Uh-oh, there he is. Duke, yeah, he's there. And Karen and Maggie will probably be joining us shortly before we end the segment. And we're here talking about Therapy Dog International, right? Yes. So, and here comes Karen and Maggie as we speak. But when I learned something before we went on camera, mm-hmm. that Therapy Dogs are not the same as service dogs. No, they are not the same as emotional support dogs either. Okay. So you'll hear the three, service, emotional support, and therapy. Okay. Uh, therapy dogs are certified through a testing program mm-hmm. for basically giving love in the public. Hospitals, okay. nursing homes, uh, libraries. Okay. Um, we take our dogs, we're all volunteers. Got it. And so we take our dogs where there's a need or request for comfort. I should have known that. And I'll tell you later why. Okay. But anyway, yeah, therapy dogs, very important. Mm-hmm. And you're right. Um, you, you do go into like uh, rehab centers mm-hmm. and, you know, all sorts of other right. things. And, you know, it's an amazing thing when you bring one of these, I'd say one of these fluffy little things, but Duke's <laughs> a little bit bigger than, than maybe yeah. a little fluffy thing. And actually probably is a very important um support and and to introduce people that you know normally they they see a, a large dog i mean how, mike how many people that there's that, a lot a lot of times i'll walk by with him and you'll see people kind of lift their arms as uh, they walk by him and as time goes on and we visit him more and more often they realize he's just as cuddly as a little dog and as you have introduced duke into the various environments uh and people have kind of gotten used to him um What's, what's the, the reaction you see in the behavior of individuals as they interact with Duke? Instant smiles on their faces yeah. and just relieves their stress and makes them love on him and kind of forget about what yeah. they're going through at the moment. So they don't worry about you so much. No, no, it's him, not right? about me. It's about <laughs> remember you said you'll probably dog. remember the dog's name yeah. and not ours? Yeah. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Pretty yeah. much yeah. it. Yeah, so they'll remember it. And then we have Maggie over here. Mm-hmm. And, and Maggie is just a little ball of love. Yes, and is. I know that because we used to have a Shih Tzu. Did you? And I don't think they know anything other than being a little ball of love. Okay, so Therapy Dogs International. You 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 go out and you visit people, and, and you it it helps in so many ways. Mm-hmm. But you need a few other people besides just the two of you to go out and do it, right? We actually our chapter is about forty eight members, okay. so we have forty eight dog teams. There are more people working in the community that then belong to the chapter. But what happens with the chapter is, um, like a facility wants a visit, say Mm -hmm. like the California Armenian home, the vineyard, they Mm -hmm. want to visit, they contact our chapter. Right. And then the chapter will let the members know Mm -hmm. that they're looking for a visit. Um, Karen works with group visits to help with more than one dog going to a building. Okay. So um, being a part of the chapter is kind of the nucleus of what we're trying to get out to the public is we need more chapter members. We need more people working for the chapter. Um, we're lucky to have a chapter here. People can get their dogs qualified as a therapy mm-hmm. dog, but if it's a process. Not, right. Yeah. Um, they have to go through behavioral training and mm-hmm. and then uh, was it behave, um, a lot of obedience uh, training. Yeah. Yeah. But um, if they do that and they're not part of the chapter, it's mm-hmm. like. How do they find out where to go and who needs well, it? Well, exactly. Some people do it um, because they know, like, maybe their parent is in a nursing home. Right. So they only visit that nursing home mm-hmm. or, a, you know, any other type of facility somebody might be in. Right. Um, our dogs, like, my, I have a Great Dane also. Okay. And he's what they call a tail wagging tutor. So we work at the library. Fresno County Libraries, almost all the libraries have dogs now. Oh, do they? Um, I'm in Sanger with okay. my dog on Saturdays, mm-hmm. and we're there about an hour, maybe a little over an hour, and the kids right. read to him. Mm-hmm. So it really helps the kids. Is he you a know. good listener? He sometimes will fall asleep <laughs> on you, but he is a good listener, and, you know, he's, he's fun for them. They yeah. see him, and it makes them want to come over and read to him. And, and it, it helps distill that, that fear that particularly kids have yeah. with big dogs. Well, Ooh, yeah, are scary. they are. Sometimes they are. I know when uh, I first was contacted by Sanger Library, because they'd been wanting a dog for a number of years, mm-hmm. um, when I, the librarian asked me what kind of dog, and I said a Great Dane, and she said, oh, no, yeah. it's too big. They were afraid, afraid that the kids would be afraid. So mm-hmm. I said, let me bring him out, 
-hmm. you guys meet him and they've never stopped smiling because they realize it really wasn't the size of the dog no kids just were in awe of the size it's probably the largest dog some of them have ever seen right and and the thing is you know when when people begin to interact with dogs mm -hmm. of the various breeds and they begin to, to learn and understand it's not so much the dog it's the owner of the dog that determines the you know the lovingness of the right, dog right. the the friendliness mm -hmm. of the dog and that's good for the public as a whole to get to yeah. you know understand because you know there there are breeds that are unduly you know prejudiced against because mm -hmm. they have a reputation right well you know. we have pit bulls that work as therapy dogs that's it and they're fantastic therapy dogs yeah. and, and i, I bet they, you have a rottweiler or two do you? I think no? there is there a Rottweiler or two out no. there. I don't okay. think right currently. now, not currently. All right, we're looking for a Rottweiler to fill out the. Yeah, yeah. there you go. So <laughs> if you've got a beautiful Rottweiler with a great yeah. temperament, come see us, yeah. and we will take an evaluation of it. Um, the one thing with the with the therapy dogs international, our dogs are all certified through a testing process. Right. So they can come and do a practice test, kind of find out if their dog is fit for it. Not all dogs are. Mm -hmm. um, they have to be around a lot of medical equipment, a lot right. of noises. Uh, we put them through a very rigorous um, qualification process. Right. And then they actually have to pass a test. Mm -hmm. um, they have two tries to pass the test. And if they don't pass the test, that dog can never be tested again. Okay. So Therapy Dogs International is based out of New Jersey. And they have very strict regulations. We're a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. um, so we have to adhere to those rules right. for the public safety. Sounds good, mm -hmm. but we're looking for more dogs. We are we? looking for more yes. dogs. Do we ha do we need people to go with the dogs, or we're just looking for dogs? No, we need people to we go with people. the dogs. We need people. Okay. Yeah. So we we need people with dogs, and the people need to be trained, and it'd be nice to have the dogs trained too. <laughs> but but anyway, how do we get a hold of you? Um, it's local two twenty, and okay. we have a. Is this a, the information? On the card? Right here. Okay. On the card. I'm going to read this here. You have a phone number, 559-994-2912, and you've got tdifresno at gmail.com is an email address, and www.tdi-dog.org is a web page, and then mm -hmm. Facebook, it says facebook.com TDI Chapter 220. There you go. That's how you get a hold of them, and I'll bet you if you go there, there's probably a whole lot more information um, to help fill out the things that we didn't cover today. Yes, there is you, a lot of information. I want you to come back. I want to talk oh, about yeah. this more. Next time I'll be better prepared. I do chihuahuas, so. No. <laughs> We've had chihuahuas too. Yeah. So. Well, Duke thinks he's a chihuahua. Uh, he's a know, German I've, chihuahua. I've yeah. known that about. I have some friends that, that and, you know, when he tries to sit in your lap, oh, yeah. it gets a real. Yeah, got he, it. He tries to be Here, a lap. Thanks for being with us. Thank, right. you. Thank you, sir. Duke, wherever you are in the studio, Thanks for being with us. <laughs> it really is. You know, these dogs perform a great service. It's a volunteer program. You can help give back to your community. Doesn't get any better than that, and I'll see you when we come back. <laughs>